Hey everyone, this is Dr. Bukhari. So uh, today I'm just gonna present my uh, poster and the purpose of presenting that I just want to show to the students that how you can present the poster. If you haven't watched my video about the uh, different types of research papers and how you can make a good research paper, please uh, look at the, uh, the playlist and you can watch the video. Now you see that uh, in the poster uh, making session, I explained that we uh, th that the uh, the idea is that as you are a presenter here, we will not put as much uh, like we will not put much wordy information. Like you see that in our poster, we have these in bullets, in bullets point, few bullets point, and rest we put all the images over here, right? And uh, no, at the end, if you see that we even add the QR code, so if the people they can scan that, they can get the idea. So. I mean, this was the overall, uh, this, your, it's depend on your domain to domain, but overall the poster should be more visual, not wordy proposal. This is uh, tip number one. Now, let me present that and we'll show you that how you can present. Now you see the people, those who come uh, uh, to your booth, to your posters, the people, they, they not necessarily have the uh, background. Uh, or the idea in which you are you are working on this project for maybe a year or two years or three years but i mean when the people they come to you start with a very broad kind of question better uh, to ask the question for example our paper is relating to the biomedical information retrieval and the overall theme of our proposal is that we are minimizing or reducing the digital gap among the communities because of the information accessibility issues you see that we do have uh, the uh, one thing is that, that don't confuse with kind of the digital divide with the ab availability of internet or not. We are we are considering the case when the people they have uh, the internet, but still they are not able to access the information which they which they want to which they desire to. So our uh, and uh, specifically we are focusing on the biomedical information. The framework that we have designed that democratize the healthcare information accessibility process and uh, that's how uh, we uh, we are divided we are minimizing the digital divide so the better approach is that you can ask to the person do you have uh, uh, in which uh, bag uh, 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 like uh, uh, domain you are or uh, do you familiar with the information retrieval do you know how the google works or at least I guess the 98% for example just giving the uh, use case of our like most of the 98% uh, people they have used maybe 100% they have used the Google now how the Google search engine works right so that's Google you write some keyword and matches the keyword with the repository and then it retrieves the document but you know the when it comes to the biomedical information biomedical information is a, is a blurry hazy uh, information with a, with a different context so it's kind of very difficult uh, uh, for the search engines to uh, properly understand that search engines use the metadata tags just like you know if you go to the library they have the different sections science section chemistry section physics section and they put the section number on that other than that they have the tags next to the that and that's basically the metadata metadata a librarian consider now take this physical environment and now we are taking that to a software environment librarian is equal to the software and these digital tags are this virtual meta tags or the semantic tags the uh, the framework that we have designed that the for biomedical uh, information retrieval is basically facilitate a users uh, authors to add the uh, metadata tags into their contents. Now, if the author uh, author is not technical, how the author will able to do that? So, the, this framework, if you can write an email, we we have made that uh, framework so simple. If you can just go over there, watch a video, and even if you can type your email, you can able to do this kind of, you see, uh, this kind of, uh, uh, the, the sophisticated product just with a, with a one click. And with that, you know, by adding the, uh, metadata by adding the semantic tags into your contents there your Google your Yandex your Yahoo search engine will understand the contents the context the uh, behind the contents and then it will retrieve the related information you can the application could be you can put that in a Siri you can put that in uh, you know the, the Google home 
and 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 I consider that you know we have a PubMed uh, a gigantic data set is available but if we could have some sort of synthesize the information or present the information in a way that would uh, behave as a central brain and then you see that uh, uh, the process of you know the uh, discovery process like uh, uh, we are uh, we have the recent case of COVID-19 vaccine so the things would be uh, really you know instead of reading a hundred thousand paper you will ask a one specific query and as the data understand itself what I am then it will it will uh, it will show you the result in an aggregated fashion and it will reduces the overall discovery time and it and and, and that's our and, and, and that's that's our few use cases I highly encourage you to go to uh, uh, to our uh, uh, scan this we I'll put the link in uh, uh, in the chat and uh, then uh, look at the our research and uh, just give us your feedback thank you so much